This demonstration will show entering data into Tektite 4.0 uh, for it to calculate, do the calculations for the ASHRAE 62.2 ventilation standard. If it's a new home, the, uh, the way it will calculate the continuous CFM rate is 0 0.01 times the floor area times 7.5 times the number of bedrooms plus one. So, so that formula is, is, um, is pretty straightforward to, to calculate the continuous CFM rate. Um, an example of that is um, if you had a 2,000 square foot home, uh, 0 0.01 times 2,000 times 7.5 times 3 plus 1, the number of bedrooms plus 1, and uh, comes up with 50 CFL. Um, if you enter the blow door information into uh, the Tektite 4.0 blow door so uh, test software, it'll calculate the uh, infiltration credit and, uh, and in leak your homes that can reduce the uh, um, the continuous CFM rate, or if the if the house is leaky enough, um, the um, ventilation rate can be zero, and you won't need to add ventilation. Um, if you have a, a different occupant density, so if um, uh, if you have one person in a house, um, you, you can lower the occupant densities um, if you have approval from the authority uh, having jurisdiction. So. In the example we used above, um, uh, 50 CFM rate, that could be less if there's only one person in the in the house. So the continuous ventilation rate could be could be less um, if the authority having jurisdiction um, is okay with you doing that. Uh, ventilation um, um, rate for new homes is uh, you're required for each bathroom to have. Uh, a 50 CFM intermittent bath fan that can be turned on and off when, when you'd like. Or you could have a 20 CFM continuous. You have the, the options between those two. Um, for a kitchen fan, 100 CFM intermittent or five air changes per hour continuous. So the example I use is a pretty big kitchen, but 10 by 10 by 8 feet tall um, would be 67 CFM continuous. Um, for an existing home, um, you can take credit for existing fans you have um, uh, uh, for, for the local spot ventilation. So for, for kitchen or bathroom, if you have an operable window, you can take a 20 CFM credit. Uh, if you have it, um, if you measure the existing fan flow, you can take credit for that also. And uh, um, so you'll calculate the um, to figure the, the additional airflow required continuously, um, you'll take the deficit from the kitchen or bath, bath and divide that by four. So the example that we used that a 60 CFM kitchen fan in an operable window, which would be 80 CFM. Um, so we'd have a 20 CFM deficit there. And for the bath, we had 30 CFM flow in an operable window, so that would equal 50. So we have enough flow for the bathroom so we just have 20 CFM deficit for the kitchen, and um, we divide that number by four, and, and that would be five additional CFM continuous we'd need to add to our, our uh, ventilation rate for the kitchen. Um, so now I'll go through a, a demonstration in Tektite on, on entering all that information, just the basic information we would need for it to do that calculation. Um, so after you have Tektite pulled up, um, you'll be at at, uh, at this screen, and we're going to go up to, on the upper left here, we're going to go to File, and we're just going to start a new test. We're not going to go with that custom configuration. We do need to be in the CGSB mode for it to do that ASHRAE 62.2 calculation. Um, and... Uh, the only information we'll have to enter in here for it to do the calculation is the floor area. We do need to have the floor area entered in and the height of the building. Um, and that's the height above grade of the building. And that's all the information you're required to enter in on this page for it to do the calculations. But if you don't enter in number of bedrooms or occupants, um, it'll assume one occupant. 
if you enter in one occupant, um, it'll it'll make that same assumption. But if you enter in bedrooms, um, if we enter in three bedrooms, it's going to assume four occupants, uh, the number of bedrooms plus one. We do need to enter our climate location um, so it can convert CFM um, uh, 50 to CFM natural and uh, and then we'll enter our wind shielding and uh, the help menu will give you guidance on, on deciding what the wind shielding is. Now we're on the mechanical ventilation page. Um, for it to do the calculations, we'll need to click on that. Uh, the default here is set to new home, and, and we're assuming we have an existing home. And we'll put in 60 CFM in the kitchen, and that it has an operable window. We've got one bathroom, and we've got 30 CFM that we measured from that. We've got an operable window. We'll click Next to go to the Comments page. Next to go to the Test Settings page. And uh, we're going to do a manual entry. Um, and then we can just, when we get back to the office, uh, we can enter this information or we can, uh, we can just take it here. And because um, we use the, the baseline function on, of the gauge, we're going to put zero in for the pretest and post-test baseline readings. Um, and because we use the CFM at 50 function on the gauge, we're going to put 50 in for our um, for our building pressure, we're going to put ring A in for our configuration and 2,000 CFM um, for our fan flow. Um, and now we'll need to enter in uh, temperature data too. So you see the enter edit temperature data button. We'll click on that. It'll pull up the screen. We'll enter in our indoor and outdoor temperature. Click OK. Okay, again, down in the lower right here. Okay. Um, now to, we're at our test graph page, and it plotted that one data point um, based on the, the uh, information we entered in. So now we'll go to the next screen, and it's showing our, uh, our CFM at 50, and it, it calculated our mechanical um, ventilation information. We've got a, a base rate of 50. It, it figured our infiltration credit at 30 because um, we got, have a fairly, fairly leaky house for, uh, for its size. So it, it subtracts that 30.1 from 50, and our recommended whole building ventilation is 24.9. Um, so let's take a look at, at what our report will look like that we can put in our folder. I went up to, uh, on the upper left here, I went up to File. Preview report. And we're going to look at the detailed report. Click on detailed report. And then click on it a couple of times to make it a little bigger. So it includes all our blower door information here um, building leakage curve, test settings, infiltration rate, and, uh, and all of our mechanical information um, uh, calculations that were done. And then any data entry uh, that we did will show up here also. Um, so that's kind of the quick and easy uh, um, way to go about doing a um, ASHRAE 622 uh, ventilation design. And uh, you can print off that report and, and include it in your file. Or if you want to enter in your um, um, customer information and um, and company information and logo, then that will be included in this in this uh, report also. Um, so up here, your your company information and then your customer information will show up here.